ChatGPT, the latest release from the OpenAI team, has been generating a lot of buzz on the internet recently. While ChatGPT is definitely an improvement over GPT-3, which had a ton of hype around it when it launched, I was very enthusiastic covering all the use cases of it. But did we start using GPT-3 all over the board? Well, we didn't, and I have a feeling we will forget about ChatGPT in a bit as well. Let's take a look at this math question. A bat and a bowl cost $1.10 in total. The bat costs $1 more than the bowl. How much does the bowl cost? Here's the answer of ChatGPT. A bat and a bowl together cost $1.10, the bat costs $1 more than the bowl, so the bowl must cost $1 minus 10 cents equals 90 cents. Which is a very common line of thought. But it's wrong. Secondly, we ask GPT-3 the same question again, but we make sure that it thinks step by step, and it gives us a little bit more directions, but still the wrong answer. And lastly, we ask the same question, but we also say to use step-by-step -step instructions and using less wrong sequences. And then ChatGPT actually gives us the right answer. It would seem that ChatGPT figured out the correct answer itself, but this is merely the human who has learned the way how to get the answer it wants from ChatGPT. Another silly example is when ChatGPT tries to figure out this question. When I was 6, my sister was half my age, now I'm 70, how old is my sister? And you can see all the different uh, thought process that it goes through and it gives a wrong answer. ChatGPT is quite easily fooled with numbers, even though this question is more about logic, like Four cars leave Haifa together and arrive in Tel Aviv after two hours. Explain briefly how long would it take for eight cars. So it starts calculating stuff and gives a wrong answer. Um, but surprisingly, if we give chat GPT instructions to don't share its thought process, if we can call it that, but just give the answer in numbers, then in this example we can see that it is pretty darn good. So the problem with ChatGPT is that it makes a lot of mistakes. When it comes to precise topics, it's really unreliable. You wouldn't use a calculator that's only right 90% of the time. I get a similar feeling when using ChatGPT, and with more difficult topics, it's even worse. I don't want to downplay the abilities of ChatGPT either. There are plenty of things that ChatGPT can get right, like it's really great at fetching different code examples of simple programs that beginner programmers start out with, though it's not that useful when you are programming professionally and need help. Specialized artificial intelligence models like the GitHub Copilot can be more useful. ChatGPT shines in creative writing. As the name suggests, chatting is definitely its strong point. There's a whole page of prompts that people came up with to set up ChatGPT to behave in some very creative ways, like being a Linux terminal an Excel sheet or a text-based adventure game. You can check them out over here. But when it comes to something of high stakes, ChatGPT falls short. You can never be sure if the information it has provided is accurate, or if it got screwed up when trying to summarize it. There are also no sources to go to to make sure the info you got is actually true. And maybe the lamest thing is that ChatGPT only spits out common knowledge information rather than cutting edge insights. Like it can regurgitate the same old stuff about a topic all day, but it won't tell you anything new, which is what I currently spend the most time looking for instead of some basic stuff you find out with one Google search. 
I'm in interested in specialized expert level opinions about a topic. I view ChatGPT as a junior online assistant. You can use it for so much creative stuff, if you need some mundane writing stuff done, or if you want to brainstorm new things, then ChatGPT is perfect for that. In an interview, the founder of OpenAI talked that the biggest breakthroughs will be when we take something like ChatGPT with knowledge about everything and we fine-tune it to have expert level knowledge in a single field. I can buy that idea and there are examples of this, but when will we see them used at scale? It's very hard to tell. So yeah, I think ChatGPT is overhyped. We had this tech for two years now and we are still mainly talking about how good it will be in another few years instead of what good it can do right now. Please share any creative ways you have found to utilize ChatGPT. Has it made any aspects of your work particularly easier? Alternatively, do you see the potential for ChatGPT to automate your job in the future? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below.